Prior to joining UNU, I'd been doing research at a variety of academic institutions in the US and Europe, and I felt that coming to UNU was a chance to get closer to global policy while still doing academic research. The thematic organization of UNU means that it's possible to look at a problem from perhaps a broader perspective than you'd get with a single disciplinary standpoint, and being based in Asia seemed an ideal location given its growing importance this century. I've always had an interest in cities and urbanization. Initially, my research started looking at uh, light emissions from cities from satellite data. Now I spend my time working at the city level to try and understand what processes are going on that give us the patterns that we observe. I guess what I'm trying to do is resolve challenges in cities and also understand their broader impact at the global scale. So in order to do this, I work at the intersection of geography, urban planning, biodiversity, conservation, and others. And hopefully this will have a meaningful impact into UN processes like forthcoming sustainable development goals. Well, it's often said that we're living in an urban century, and the pace and scale of urban development is now happening far quicker than has ever been the case. So this has consequences both locally and globally. The fact is that many cities now experience simultaneous challenges, and they can be overwhelmed in dealing with these multiple challenges. We know that cities are a location of pollution, but also a location of innovation and lots of ideas. So the challenge is, is how to manage and organize cities to try and get the best out of them. So cities are highly complex environments with lots of interconnected activities happening in quite a concentrated space. In such an environment, the reductionist approach is often not so helpful for trying to fully understand the problem. So the co-benefits approach takes a systems thinking approach to a sector and tries to understand what impacts and connections it has to other sectors. To take an example of the transport sector, fundamentally it's about moving people around. It also has impacts on air pollution, on global carbon emissions, and also health impacts. So trying to think about how what benefits people have by changing methods of transport, for example, can give benefits in other sectors. And this is the same for other sectors as well. So the challenge is to firstly find out where do you have these co-benefits, how do you measure them, and then also how do you plan for them. Well, cities are fundamentally concentrations of people. So my ideal city would have high levels of public transport, lots of public spaces and green spaces. It'd be equitable for the citizens who live there. Fundamentally, it should look at, what, at how efficiently it can use its resources within the city, but also keep an eye, eye on what's happening with its urban footprint outside of the city. For this to happen, we need uh, a more integrated way of looking at the city processes and also the impacts of urbanization in general.